Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. Number, I don't know, I don't, I don't have a clue what number it is. But anyway, what I'm um, showing you right now, hopefully, is my desktop. Well, actually, not my desktop, it's my Internet Explorer. And I'm on the website Global Tuners. And what that... What this website allows you to do is to tune and listen to radios that people have connected to the Internet. And you get to control it. And they're throughout the world. And what I'm trying to do tonight is, if you recall from my previous show, where I was tuning my Grundig shortwave radio, and I was trying to get this station... Um, in Cairo, called Radio, uh, yeah, Cairo Radio, that I was getting this very loud tone that was uh, blocking the station's broadcast. And I wasn't really sure, I was thinking it was interference, but I wasn't sure if the tone was either being caused by my equipment in my office feeding into the radio, causing this tone, or the radio itself having some kind of internal feedback. So what I'm doing tonight is I'm on this website, and I'm going to try to tune those same frequency, or that particular same frequency, and maybe some other ones, to see if I have the same problem with other people's radios. So we go to receivers and you have to be in order to tune a radio you have to log in so you have to be a member of global tuners and there's no cost in, involved you just register and they give you a, you you set up a password and then you log in so that, now you can listen to these radios any time you do without joining but if you want to tune them you have to join okay so here are all the radios right now that are online. These belong to individuals that you can uh, listen to and tune if you're tuned in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to select a radio that's over in that area and over in near Cairo. And... Um, you can filter a couple of things here. You can filter on. Now, the status here shows whether the radio is uh, being used by someone else. And only one person at a time can tune, of course, and you have to wait your turn. So you can actually filter out the ones that people, other people are using by using this filter over here. So right now it's showing every radio that's online and uh, plus their either free or not free. So I'm going to select free only radios. So that cuts out the ones that are all in use right now. And then I want a radio that tunes HF. So I'm going to select the HF band. And as you can see, most of the radios, let me go back to all. Most of these radios uh, are radios that are easily connected to the internet. And most of them are those ICOM uh, PCR radios, the 1500, the 1000, whatever. And they are not too good for receiving HF. So if you select HF only, you see the list is pretty short. So these are radios that are available for me to tune. They are in, they are tunable in the HF band. And here we go. So right now available, let's see what we got. Here is, that's in Hong Kong. We don't want that. We want something over near Cairo. Here's a German, Germany. So let's select that one. Okay. And then down here it says this receiver is free to tune. So I select tune this receiver. Now, I'm going to warn you in advance, the volume could be high and I really don't have an easy way to control that from the setup I've got right now. So beware 
some of the stuff. And of course, my lame uh, Firefox blocks me using Adobe Flash, so I have to click on this to activate it. Okay, I'll activate it. And then here we go. Okay, I hope this works out. Okay, so the previous person had apparently tuned this to one point, excuse me, one four five point six. So I'm going to tune it to. Let me look it up again. Uh, Kyle Radio is at nine point nine six five set frequency, and is there'll be a little bit of delay when it actually does things. So it's set to frequency. I'm this is in FM mode. I want AM mode. So it's in AM mode. And then I've got to start the audio so I can hear it. So let's go to medium quality audio start. Now I'm going to turn my speakers up a little bit to see what I'm hearing. Okay. I don't, I don't know if you heard that, but sure enough, that strong tone was there. So that tells me it's not my radio, it's not my equipment. Indeed, there's a tone that's jamming uh, Radio Cairo or Cairo Radio, so you can't listen to it. So that's my experiment. I hope, like I said, I hope you heard the audio. I hope it didn't hurt your ears. Um, now let's uh, while we're here, let's this radio is in Germany. Let's see how well it receives uh, China radio, which is supposed to, this particular transmitter for China radio is supposed to be over in that area someplace in Europe. So let's see. Uh, that's nine point nine point. Seven zero. Oops, I didn't do that right. Okay. Nine point five seven zero set frequency. Okay, I'm again. I'm going to turn my mic down and my speaker up. And I bet you. Uh, See if this really works, turn the volume down. I bet you that was pretty loud for you. I'm going to get off this receiver in case it is too loud, so let's jump out of here. I have to be a little careful because, like I say, I can't easily control what's coming through my uh, computer and it's being recorded as far as this these receivers on the Internet. So uh, I apologize if that audio was real loud there. So anyway, that worked. He that particular uh, receiver was receiving um, China radio perfectly, just like I do here. As a matter of fact, I have my radio on right now, and let's see what do I have it tuned to. I have it tuned to China radio, so I should be able to turn tune the volume up on my mixer, and you should be able to hear that. Where is the emergency exit? That is the end of our trip. Besides the plane crashing, this edition... Okay, so I think that's working. Again, I may have blasted your ears again. and <laughs> I, I definitely apologize if I did that. I'm just kind of learning how to do this. I, I attempted to do this, oh, long time ago, where I was capturing um, my Internet Explorer screen and the audio and the software I was using then, um, number one, it didn't do a very good job of the, the, the screen itself. The resolution was terrible. And there was a delay between the audio and what was shown on the screen. It was a mess. But I think I've fixed that problem, so that's why I'm doing more of these screen capture uh, shows. So hopefully this worked out. And... My point was that using this website, and again, the website is globaltuners.com. You go on here and you register 
uh, let me go back to the home screen. Okay. Uh, you have, you don't, I can say, if you want to just listen to what other people are tuning, you don't have to register. But if you want to tune these receivers that people have volunteered and put on the Internet, you need to register. It's very simple to do. And then you log in. You can see I'm logged in as HamRad45. And once you log in, you can go over here and select online receivers. And right now it's showing that there are 45 online. And that varies depending, you know, when people put their radios online because they're not always online. And usually on the weekends there's more online than there is during the week. And today being Friday, there might be less, although it's Friday night, so the number could be higher. And then these are all the radios that you can tune. And like I say, the ones that are marked online means they're online and somebody's using them. So if you want to find one that you want to tune, select one that's either free or wait till this particular one you wanted is free again. And you can see there are... Uh, they're in Australia, they're Canada, Germany, Hong Kong, Italy, Netherlands, United States. So they're all over the world. So anyway, that's the uh, show for today. If you uh, enjoyed this show uh, and you'd like me to uh, try some more playing around with this particular website, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.